and two minutes later, he comes and sits down next to me and he goes, smell that. <laughs> <laughs> this is already and my favourite was... interview ever. That, what can I say about our next guests? One of them is a fine actor that has flourished over the last 20 odd years and been part of some of the greatest TV shows that this country has produced. And the other one is his mate, Ralph Little. Please welcome <laughs> Will Meller and Ralph Little. Yeah. Yeah. Well, boys. Will's first you know time. <laughs> it's Will's first time here. Yeah, it is. Ralph's been in loads. And Have I, you? I, yeah, 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 but because yeah. you're... now to do. You're always busy filming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just potter around. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm free during the day... Sure. Well. Once that Death in Paradise gig was over, mm. he's literally been sitting at home twiddling his thumbs. Yeah. 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 Well, Cold. That's why I've had to give him a job with this new series. Yeah, you know, you. I felt sorry for him. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. nice yeah, of you to do that, Will. <laughs> it's nice. So you two are, you two are going to be on telly again? together. Yeah. Yeah, it came out started would, on Monday, yeah. Who'd put this on? <laughs> well, yeah, it's on Dave. Uh, and Hearing it's, the disappointment in your voice. <laughs> I'll take it. You've not watched it then, Chris. You I haven't, I haven't oh, seen thanks, it. Thanks, I'm, thanks so, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Well, I've been here nine years. It's your first time you've come in, so <laughs> well, balls <yeah>. to you. <laughs> Yeah, we've yeah. got a new series out. It's called Will and Ralph Should Know Better. And it's about us being our 40-somethings that we are now and no. seeing what we can learn, getting out there, testing yourself. Um, yeah, seeing, uh, and seeing how you come out the other end. And, um, yeah, it's a proper journey with me and him on the road. And it's all the cars filmed on the journey as well. And then we get to a destination and we have to do whatever it is we have to do. How l when did you two meet? Do you remember? I would have been 22, so 2002, and so I was 22, and Will was about years ago. 35. Um, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit older than me, which I never mention. Um, and uh, yeah, so so that would be 22 years ago. Do you remember uh, where you met? Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 it was. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, no, this is the on air version. We, we were doing rehearsals for two pints, a lag and a packet of crisps, because obviously we were filmed together on that as Gaz and Johnny. And I, um, and there was this thing that I, I was doing at the time. I don't know why I was doing it. Don't make it sound like it's a, like it was a bit of shtick that you were doing. Was, this is awful. <laughs> you know when you, you know when you scratch your bum and get someone to smell your finger? <laughs> no, no, no. You see, everyone in this papers like that. It's not something I'm, I've no, been known to at do. At the time, at, at the time. It was just something. It was that thirty-five. Found. It was different times. Yeah, it was a different, different time. It was a different, different time. Different times. Most let's scratching your bum and making people sniff your fingers. I think it's what I'd, <laughs> I'd honestly known him. I'd met him and I'd known him two minutes. And he's my first introduction to him. He was so lovely. He was like, mate, I just want to say, I'm seeing the royal family, I just think it's great. And you're brilliant. And I went, oh, thanks very much. I thought, what a lovely guy. It's going to be great work. Yeah. Here. And two minutes later, he comes and sits down next to me and he goes, smell that. <laughs> <laughs> this is already and my favourite interview ever. That was Sorry. twenty-two years ago. Yeah. And I'm Kids still. They don't know what they're missing. They don't do that anymore. No. For some reason, I'm still doing this. They don't know. They're born these I got, days. I got them with it once. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. It's bad, isn't it? It was awful. It was awful. <laughs> and it's gone downhill since then. But that was that was our first meeting, and since then, yeah, it stayed on that level. The thing is, the thing is with 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 Will and Ralph. Yeah. Right? See, when I met Ralph, he mm. was like fresh down to London, yeah. the bright lights of London and everything. That's and, it. and I liked him immediately because he liked to drink, That's and cool. and he thought I was cool. So I. I was like, I like him. <laughs> and then very quickly he realised it's just a bunch of superficial nonsense and I was an idiot. And so there was a gap in our friendship for a while. <laughs> and then I met Will and I'm like, Will is a car crash of a human being. He, he, he's going to be, this guy is going to be around for five minutes, right? Once this Holly Oaks thing's over. <laughs> and here's the thing. Will is a is a happily married family man, mm. right? Yeah. Been with the same woman for 39 years now. <laughs> 30, 30, 30, 39 now. <laughs> okay. He's turned into a phenomenal actor. Thank an you. amazing actor. Like, everyone's surprised, Will. <laughs> like, <laughs> Including my mum and myself. <laughs> yeah. you're, me. you're in shows that I'm watching I didn't even know you were in. So, mm. like, you know, I'd see that, oh, Will's going to be in this. I'll give that a little watch. Oh, or it's still a car crash. It's just in extremely slow motion. It's been going on 20 <laughs> odd years. I don't know. I think he's becoming the sensible <laughs> Thank you. one of you two almost. The sensible one? <laughs> wow. Well, the wow, thing, is, the thing is, I've done quite a lot of serious drama over the last few years. You really took, have. It took a while. I think it's when you get older, you don't get seen for them parts. And then 
things changed and so do you think it's that or do you think it's you're just not funny no. <laughs> yeah he might have hit up on something it's, a, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. you know you, yeah. I, 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 hold on he's, make got sure. drink, he's got a great trick where you can go smell that yeah, yeah. still yeah. loves it still think it's a smell that <laughs> find out get it out um, <laughs> hey, mi- hey Mr Bates <laughs> smell that <laughs> do you know well, what I mean how is this the same person yeah. because this incredibly like you didn't use it this, that much this, in that drama yeah this actor he's such a great actor and he's sort of like that was so much warmth and so much character and how is that the same guy who's walking around Doing that. That. No, that was back in the day. Didn't see a lot of that in Mr. Bates. Not really. I didn't see any no. of that in Mr. Bates. I've, I've matured over the last five minutes. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but yeah, no, it was an amazing. Uh, Mr. Bates, unbelievable, um, mm. an amazing thing to be in, and uh, yeah, the biggest things I've ever, I've ever done. But it, you know what it's like in this game. You never know what tomorrow brings. And uh, and I was doubting myself for, for literally before I got that job. I was like, am I going to get seen for any of these big roles? Because it wasn't happening for a while and COVID and all that. And then that role is just. It's shows you what can happen and it took off and it's the biggest thing that's been on in 30 years and the biggest thing I've ever done in mm. my age and obviously the teacher was just on and mm. I suppose in my career I just think I've got to try and keep my foot in every door that comes open the comedy door and the drama door and obviously now with, with Ralph we're doing um, the unscripted but I love all of it so if I can do as much as I can I will just doing something like I'll, so I'll come back to Death in Paradise in a minute Ralph but just doing something like the Mr. Bates versus the post office yeah. which you were in mm. and that show just went crazy yeah. like a few million people watched it on the mm. TV and then I think a good billion people watched yeah. it on the on ITVX and they it went to the national it. psyche didn't it really yeah. that show it was very unusual being being coarse right does yeah. it being in a show like that does your agent's phone ring off the hook because but, but you weren't the lead in it but you played a, a part in it and you <laughs> I thought you were great in it because oh. you were because you were just I watched it and and I've seen you both act before, but I watched that and I'm like, oh, I didn't know Will was in this. Mm. And then I forgot it was you mm. very quickly. That's the whole point. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the whole point, yeah. But does something like that, that's a great thing to, to have done, but does it, do you get any anything off the back of it? Um, things have changed. Uh, convers- I'm in conversations that I wouldn't have been in. Right. Um, and, you know, now I'm being looked at as the lead in things or, or you know but but I, I, I don't believe anything in, in this industry I, I, I'm just you're as good as the last job you do so you just hope that it makes a difference or you hope <laughs> that people are watching me. Right. <laughs> but you know it, that's the truth of the game you know what I mean you can you, you just don't believe in your own as you, you know what I'm going to say you yeah, don't yeah, believe yeah. You, just, you just sort of stay on one level because I've been here before where you're in something that goes big and then nothing happens but yeah I, I'm just trying to keep doing my job and I'm just revive, very pleased I'm still doing career. it what? Do you think you might revive your popcorn? Listen, career? don't you, don't joke. Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, it was a genuine question. If it pays the mortgage, oh, Ralph, he'll, he'll have a go. I've Every door is open. I've still got the CDs. Uh, hey, but, co- I use them as coasters. But is it, it's, it's changed, <laughs> has it changed much, though? So when you did the Royal Family, that was ludicrously popular yeah. and that propelled you up there and it was a small cast and it was the same cast. It was the same yeah. diehard cast, right? Does... I, I reckon, I would imagine it swings and roundabouts that gets you into a lot of auditions, yeah. but then everyone sees you as the kid from the royal family. Yeah, you're, you're, always mm. trying to, you're always trying to walk some sort of line to try and like stay working, stay interesting and whatever. And actually, we, me, me and him, um, we had dinner last night because obviously we were coming to do this, and we, we not to sound like, this is going to sound like quite cynical, but it, it's not. It, we realised we were like, actually. It's been. I started in the royal family 27 years ago. Yeah, so it's when wow. I was when I was 17. Really Mad. And I've been doing this 27 years, and so has he. And yeah. actually, do you know what somebody said to me a while ago? What's your biggest achievement in the industry? And I was like, still being here. Yeah, working. Oh no, I get it. For twenty-seven no, years, you must feel the same. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? I did, yeah, and also, but it's it's absolutely fine to say because if you look at them, so we had we had Rick Witter from Shed Seven on, mm. right? That the first album came out in nineteen ninety-four. Yeah, and uh, in January of this year, they got their first number one album. Yeah, yeah. and last week, and they are currently number one again wow. with their newest album. Yeah. yeah, it took thirty years. Yeah, it took them being the next big thing mm-hmm. in Britpop and then they did well and then they went away and then they kind of came back and then oh there's a bit of a demand for us and they yeah. do gigs like every other year they do a tour in December and all of a sudden boom arguably this has been their biggest year 30 yeah. years after they started yeah. and Rick was saying the same thing which yeah. is like 
just to be doing it yeah. still. Just and doing incredible. What, we're doing yeah. what we love, it's, having fun. Is, yeah. to, I think you appreciate it more. Creatively challenged. Yeah, totally. 100%. The older you get, the more you appreciate it, especially when you've got kids and all that sort of stuff. But just to be in this industry, doing the job that you love, yeah. uh, is unbelievable. And, and especially with this series I'm doing now with Ralph, <clears throat> it's, it's our own series. <clears throat> we started a podcast in lockdown yeah. and it went really big and then we've done two tours of it um, called Two Pints of Will and Ralph and then now we've got our own show I paused the telly the other night because I thought I'll watch it go out live when it was on a Monday night I watched it with the missus and I was just sat there looking at me and Ralph on the screen going 20 odd years look at later, us yeah. and the problem you've got on Dave <laughs> You've got on one that one night you had two pints reruns, so I've got me at 22, <laughs> 22 and then after it was me at 48, and I thought, yeah. uh, I, well, I didn't think I was aging, but I am. I'll tell you what, by the way, I've been meaning to ask you about this. Okay, for our podcast, it's really quite successful and it's done quite well, but we've always like struggled. We, we keep joking, like, why don't we, why haven't we got a beer sponsor? It's been really difficult for us to persuade anyone right. to sponsor mm. us, and we've sort of been trying to do like merch and stuff. Now, I went to see a friend um, and his missus a, a few weeks back uh, in, in Homeforth, uh, Auntie Dawn, right? Oh, lovely. And oh, yeah. I walked in. You remember Auntie Dawn? Auntie, Auntie Dawn and, from, from yeah, Homeforth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I Why walked, do I know her? Uh, and I walked you. <laughs> <laughs> you probably do. And I walked smell in. Well, Auntie Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you should talk about smell. smell I walked in and I went, I went, oh, I tell you what, I just went in your bathroom. It smells lovely. And she went, yeah. It's the Chris Moyles bathroom diffuser. Yeah. And I went, oh. and I went, wait, what? There it is. Oh, what? Oh, and I went, what? Chris Moyles, like, it's like a designer. Yeah. You can't obviously mean Chris yeah. Moyles. And she went, yeah, yeah, he's got a whole range of bathrooms. And I was like, what? listen, I need to what talk to you about this. You yeah, we can't get a beer <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> he's got a range of bathrooms. It's diffusers. in the title. We it's, can't get a beer sponsor. It's, it's, not a, it's not a range. It is a candle and a diffuser. That's uh, what honestly, it is. I couldn't. I was like, really I've known funny. Chris Moyles a long time. Yeah. And I know that there's a lot of things that he's an expert in, mm -hmm. but bathroom diffusion fragrances. That's right. One that I was gonna but how did it smell? Yeah. It smelled delightful. It's it's weird. Weird. Look at Chris, he does say, smell a candle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smell like, like Chris Miles. Oh, he was the guy who was the hairy cornflake. <laughs> See, the thing is, he's the, he's the smelly candle. I've, cha I've changed. Like, we, we've all changed. Well, yeah. You yeah. know, I've, I've got a little bit older now. I'm, I'm now in my 30s. Which, now. since yeah. we're here, to bring it very neatly back to our show, which we've barely talked about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. is oh, sort of true. the point. Like, we were 20... It, I think it's very neat that... Two pints when we met and we were in that show and that's what we were known for. It was a very, uh, we, were very we were very laddie in it and it was quite a laddie show written by a woman. Yeah, it was a very laddie mm. show, um, and we were very laddie in it. And <clears throat> that was 2002, I guess that started. And the world's changed since then. The world's changed a great deal um, for, for the better, and we've changed a great deal. And we're older, and the world's changed around us. So it was. <clears throat> it was nice to do a show together where we just sort of went, right, well, what do we make of the world and how do we try and do better? And actually, for all of the banter and the yeah, there's laddie, a lot of laddie that. stuff, of course, there's plenty of that. Mm. But actually, there's some bits in it that I'm genuinely really proud of. There's some parts of this show that me and Will have just done that that kind of matters. Like, yeah. talking and whether it's I didn't realise how broken I was at one point. But, <laughs> but seriously, whether it's talking in. about, like, you know, guys don't open up, it's not something yeah. that we've known to... No, it's We, we realised during the course of this show that we've known each other for 20 years and actually... Don't really didn't really know anything about each other. Yeah, yeah, we learned really a lot more about, about each other in this show than we did. Yeah, That's I know. Still what you quite mean. typical for blokes, isn't it? I yeah. think it really yeah. is. So this is the new series. So it's Wilf and uh, Wilf. Wilf. Wilf and Ralph. Wilf, Wilf, and Ralph. Wilf and Ralph. I haven't got time to say Will and Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Will and Ralph should know better. And it's on It's on you and Dave. Yes. You can stream it on you now. Yeah. So if you download the app, you can get all the episodes. Lovely. Uh, for free. You can watch them all. Or you can wait at 10 o'clock every Monday night on Dave and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I like that. I'm, I'm very pleased all. with what I'm seeing here. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey. Please play that. <laughs> What's wrong? You're not playing that. Please play it. <laughs> Will you do it for us live? It's just suggested another video. Oh. I have suggested is... nothing. Oh. Oh, well. Bella. Oh. This is when I really thought I was going to make it as a pop star. Signed by Pete Walton. Really? I sang it in Ollie Oaks and they said, do you want to release it? And I thought, this is it, me dream. Yeah. Look how young Leo you are. Leo say your cover. Look and how young you are. Did he get in the charts? Number five. Number, Number five. five. Yeah. Hey. Let's get it back. Live on top yeah, of the let's pops. get it back. Yeah, this is a resurgence. Yeah. We want some of the pops. Oh, I. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, and did you do a follow up? Yeah, I did another song, yeah. And we want some of the pops for that. 
No. Oh, okay. <laughs> did that get in the charts? It did, but it went to number 19. That was the end of me. Hey, it's higher than mad? I got. No, but it, there was another reason. Oh, okay. going oh, into it. it was a legal oh, reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pete Waterman went, no, I'm, you're all right, I've no, given up. He, he won't let me write any of the songs, so it, well, um, he said, if you either sing these songs or we're not working together, I went, all right. And that yeah. was the end of that. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was going to be a spicier legal reason than that. But, <laughs> no, but no, listen, it was a great opportunity, and it's something I can take off and go, I did that. And, you know, I love music, and I, but it's just, you know, what the music industry is like. Well, have you ever been on top of the pops? I haven't. No, no, no. no I, I hosted it. But that's of course yeah, you did. Yeah, of course you did. Not, mu not much though. We hosted it with Alid back in the day. It was on a travelator. I don't know why. Oh, it was because of Amarillo. Oh, because anyway. Amarillo. It's very strange. Well, the show is on Mondays. Is that right? Yeah. I'm Dave. But yeah. then you can watch it if you got the U app. You can download all episodes right now. As yeah. we well just said, <laughs> yeah, you can. If, if you can't wait every Monday, you can yeah. stream it all for free. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why? Why don't? Why don't you actually watch it and then see if you like it? I will. All right, okay. So I, I think you'll enjoy it. it. I've been busy this week. Been busy? What yeah. do you mean? You work for two hours in the morning and then you just <laughs> do nothing. Three and a half I've hours. Listened to, I've listened to every one of your shows in preparation for this. <laughs> <laughs> do you know well, how long that took me? What did we do yesterday? Oh, yeah, do you know what all blends into one after that? <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you, Chris. After all these it's years. It's lovely to see you too. Are you still drinking, Ralph? No, not really. You don't drink? You know, well, I'm, I'm not like... It's a lion. We had beers last night. Yeah, but I not, not, I'm not going. I'm 44. I go to bed at 10. <laughs> I'm still drinking. Yeah, I love we it. We used to love a drink. Oh, me and I you. Love it. I still do. But... A few beers, Mustang Sally on the karaoke. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> don't bring. He can't stop doing Mustang Sally <laughs> everywhere we go. Love one everywhere of my favourite, one of my favourite stories. I have told it before. I'll tell it very quickly in 10 seconds because we're going to be late. We go to the press club in Manchester, mm. and <laughs> it's me and Dave and and Will, and Will is leathered. <laughs> And there's karaoke on, and he goes, I was, I'm putting them down karaoke. <laughs> and we're like, geez, he can't even speak. Will can't even speak. And they go, next up, come on, Will, you're on. He went, hey, uh, hold on, I'm back in a minute. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be a disaster. And he gets the mic and he goes, Mustang Sally. I'm on the slow. Mustang nails it. And off. then finishes, he went, Thank for much. <laughs> it's the only one, it's the only one song it's I Because he's had do, so bro. much practice, he's like, oh, do you need me to open that quick save in Merthyr Tidville for 200 quid? I'll sing Mustang Sally twice. <laughs> Everybody watch Ralph Little and Will Meller. Will and Ralph should know better on Dave Monday nights. Thank you for coming in. Jeez, Ladies and mate. gentlemen, the Thanks, brilliant guys. Will Meller and his friend Ralph Little. <laughs> Radio X.